Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Morales card to review today. So, with this card, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is a 5'11", high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So, to be fair, we're already starting off really nicely on the card. I am personally going to try him out with an engine chemistry style. Why? Because with this card, guys, we are going to be testing out his base characteristics for dribbling, right? So because he's a 5'11 player on an engine chemistry style with a lean body type, I want to see how responsive he moves on the ball with that dribbling chemistry style, right? So with this card, in-game for player traits, he has the outside foot shot traits, the leadership traits, and the team player traits. In-game attributes, we're going to be taking a look at, look at a card who has 97 for acceleration with 96 for sprint speed on the engine chemistry style. Why? Because the base card stats for shooting is at a 92, 92, and a 90, uh, which is actually pretty solid. Base card stats for passing will also be improved as well. Because he has the lean body type, guys... This might be the type of card that you can actually use in any of the attacking positions, and he actually might be really good. Uh, we're obviously going to be testing him out through the middle to see what his attacking AI and stuff is like, because with the high medium work rates and him being in the striker position, which is his original position from this card, uh, it's looking pretty good so far, because usually high mediums are very, very solid cards to use in the game. Uh, dribbling we will be experimenting with in-game, but we are improving it in the agility, balance, and dribbling department. Uh, and then last but not least, he does have 88 for stamina, which is great to work with, because again, it's a card that you may be able to use in any of the attacking positions. So we are going to be using him on the 442 tactics. Uh, we'll play him up top next to Kareem Benzema because you guys know Kareem Benzema has really nice attacking AI. So it's going to be a good test between the two. We're just going to do stay central for both. Actually, we'll just take that off for the sake of the review to see if they actually make some certain movements. This one will take off too. Just come back, come back, stay back while attacking. Okay, perfect. So let's go try him out. You see how Benzema, like, like, listen, man, that's why I like to use the forward runs tactic and stuff, because it's just so great to be able to see the attacking air of the player, man. That actually worked out really well. We got super lucky on the defensive block right there, but the movement to get into that position was great. Oh, the crossbar, we put too much power on it, no. That's good, he actually commits that run right there. Pass off there, work here. Driven, touch, shot cancel, weak foot. It's, you know what it is with FIFA, guys? I'm telling you, man, like when you use certain cards, and you see what their base card stats look like, body type and stuff. Like, honestly, chalk the average body type BA. Just take it out of the game. Because this card on an engine with base card stats for shooting as high as this, like, the only thing I really have to test is seeing how he moves across the pitch AI-wise, which with high medium and original position is going to work out great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? Guys, he has uh, he has the right attacking AI. Like the high medium that actually moves across the pitch nice, uh, he has it. That's why it's good to test out with the forward runs, man. Yo, a card like this next to Benzema is actually kind of sick, low-key, man. Right, so he overcommits. I can do this. He's going to be in the middle here. Overcommits there again. But he does the track back. You see that right there? Because then I can get the pass off to him and score. That quick drag that he goes backwards is sick. No, this guy's backing off. I got to use the target lock there. Guys, you know what this Morales card kind of reminds me of? Uh, it's like a it's like a version of Defrel's card. You know the Defrel card, how that card actually surprised me? And I was like, yo, this card's actually kind of sick. It's like a Defrel card, honestly.
Oh, man. The other guy blocked me. That was kind of crazy. First time. Oh, no. Ball roll. Yeah, see that positioning? Like, that's, that's what I'm saying, right? Because here's the thing, guys. The meta of this game, yeah? When you are playing with cards like this in your team, like, let's just say you're playing like a 4-4-2, right? That positioning, like, when you go for like a roulette forward dribble back or you go for a shock cancel go back, that's the extra pass you always look for. And the fact that he's like kind of dragging himself in a way to just be able to hit that first time is sick. It's awesome. Now you go back, go back again. Okay, do you guys see what I'm saying about Benzema's attacking AI? You guys see it? It's so noticeable, dude. But then Morales was adapting so well with him. That was sick. It's funny because I, I took the shot, right? But I take the shot for the review because I know it's most likely going to get blocked. Because sometimes it just goes through the defender anyways, right? Look, where, look at where he's positioned already. Look at where he's positioned already, guys. You guys listen, man. You, you guys might not believe me, okay? But FIFA is so linear in this way where I already reviewed Alessandrini and I reviewed Morales today. This is my whole experience of playing FIFA, okay? Like, this is, and this is just personal experience. But I like this Morales card more than Martial and Alessandrini. Not even joking. Because it's, it, it, it's so... The, the types of players that work in FIFA, it's, it's these guys, you know what I'm saying? Dude, this combination play is awesome to work with. I love it. I love it. That was a beautiful run, though, man. Oh, yeah. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Slide tackle. <laughs> For me personally, guys, like, yes, you totally could give him, uh, you know, a boost for shooting with the hawk or something. But I don't know, man. You guys know me with my responsiveness. I, I, I like the engine because of the uh, dribbling boost that they've given him. See, it's like that responsiveness. You can see it, the quickness to look at that. If the pass, see, that's that. It's those are the two things with the flashback Benzema. Okay, it's the passing and the dribbles that you have to work with, right? That's the two things, right? If they give passing to this Benzema card and dribbles, my goodness. But anyways, if I have a better passer right there, look at that Morales run. It's crazy. No, Bamba, that pass is gonna be way better than that. Come on, my G. This card is sick, guys. I'm telling you this right now. I don't even care about giving him a shooting boost. This is a card I would use in my main account. This is gonna be. This might be a really underrated card by a lot of people. I, I'm. I'm probably gonna go pick him up afterwards. Wait a second. I can put Morales in the team, and put Lorente in the same team. Oh, that's sick. That's literally sick. The Spanish link because Lorente is really good in the midfield this year, man. Like that Lorente card is sick. These two, like, it's just constant adapting. Look at this. Look, holds the onside position. Boom. You can get into an angle over here. Ball roll, touch. Little flick, maybe. Bang. Get on the inside if I can. Ah, the body. Koulibaly, bro, that body type is crazy. The hunchbacks in this game, man. If this was an SBC, I would tell you guys to do it immediately. Like, I'm being serious. Because the, the SBCs they released uh, for this promo are like 100k, whatever it is. Um... Guys, for science, we're going to give him a Hawk. We're going to give him a Hawk, but uh, I think I would personally use an engine on him because his base card stats for shooting is sick. But on a Hawk, right, he's going to have this for shooting stats. It's near perfect. So if his lean body type is good enough, but the way that he moves across the pitch, that's, you know, we'll see. We'll see what's up. Oh, I'm already missing it. <laughs> I already... Oh... Uh... Come on! Oh, the timing there, no. Hey, 
I don't have to worry about the adapting with him. He's still, he's still going to do it like a monster. No! See, the reason why I'm there and I'm not making the pass, guys, is because I want to test out that left stick. You know, I want to see how responsive it is. I'm going to be honest with you right now, okay? I already miss it. <laughs> I'm telling you this right now. On a lean with the balance and agility boost... I, I just, I listen, even on the Hawkeyes, like, just look at the way he moves on the pitch. Like, honestly, I did a croquette. Uh, the run that he does there is perfect. I, I'm not making the pass to Benzema, even though, like, meta-wise, I should, obviously, because they're doing the review. But, like, th these are my cards, bro, I'm telling you. Oh, I miss the engine so much. Ugh, I miss it. Oh, guys, give him an engine. Uh, just give him an engine. A Hawk, it's such a waste. Uh, what a waste. Complete waste. It's like a different card. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Morales card. Guys, uh, I like using him more than I like using Martial and Alessandrini. And the only reason why I say this, okay, is because of my experience in the game, okay? Not, like, my experience as in, like, ha, it's me, ha, <laughs> ha. No, my experience is in, like... The way that players move across the pitch. You guys know me, bro. I'm telling you guys this right now. I cannot function if, especially in this year's game, I cannot function at all if players do not move a certain way. Because I'm not the type of person to do the L1 spams, the the R1 L1 dribble. Oh, I had to do like a cancel here to dribble here, blah, blah, blah. I want to play football, okay? I want to play football. This card allows you to play football because his way of adapting to every single situation in the attacking positions is what you need okay players like benzema's flashback card uh players like the fakir card morales joins that list but he joins that list on an engine chemistry style okay because listen his base card stats for shooting guys is good enough don't get me wrong there's gonna be moments where it's like oh maybe if i had a little bit of extra shooting i would have scored but when you play FIFA, guys, you want to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. And when I did work those high percentage strikes as much as possible for a card like this, it works out great, okay? Because listen, he's going to have 97 acceleration, 96 for sprint speed. But you boosting the dribbling balance and agility on a card who is 5'11 with a lean body type, with base card stats for shooting being in the 90s, that's great to work with, okay? Especially if you're trying to, you know, break down people inside the 18 yard box trying to do those quick little dribbles making those driven passes making him you know kind of adapt to every single situation really well i just think it's so wasteful to give him a hawk like you're honestly your gameplay needs to be on par or on point every single time for you to even consider giving him a hawk but honestly and when you guys play this game engine it's gotta be has to be bro it's literally a waste to give him anything else because guys if his attacking air is good like that that means that he's good everywhere okay because cards you know, sometimes you use them in the middle and they're cards that feel like you have to mainly use them in the side positions. For me personally, this is all personal experience always, right? But for me personally, when I use Coleman as a striker, I was like, nah, this card's a side player. Like he's 100% a side player. Morales on an engine is not a player that's linear to one position. You can use him anywhere. Lamb, Ram, left mid, right mid striker. He has the 88 stamina to work with the high medium work rates. This card is awesome. For the price, you cannot go wrong. If he was an SBC, I would tell you guys to get this card as an SBC, 100%. The price is incredibly fair for what he offers in game, especially as a transfer market player. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. I, I, I honestly, because of my experience playing the game, guys, and the way that I like to see attacking AI, I liked him more than Martial and uh, Alessandrini. Not even joking. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.